It just makes sense that the country's premier food and wine celebration is held right here in South Australia. We definitely punch well above our weight in the produce stakes and the list of homegrown kitchen talent just keeps getting longer. Tasting Australia 2012 kicks off in just over a week. It's a perfect opportunity to pick up tips from a celebrity chef, join a workshop, visit an exhibition or take a culinary journey perhaps to somewhere exotic. Most of us might never have the chance to attend a traditional Indian wedding. But at Tasting Australia, you can enjoy a traditional Indian wedding feast. And that's just one of more than 80 events that are happening right across the state. It's about the fragrance, the colour, apart from the bling on the people, there's bling on the food as well. The aroma, really, for miles away, you can smell this happening. As you come, you're not disappointed because it's not just uh, one or two or three dishes, but it's just such a canvas of fabulous, fabulous food. For more than 20 years, Ragni Day and her Spice Kitchen restaurant in the eastern suburbs have been synonymous with Indian cuisine in South Australia. So who better to guide us through an unforgettable wedding feast? How many courses might you have at a, a wedding feast? At least about 25 and this is courses so each course might even have four other things in within them. It's such a major operation and you're actually going to be giving people a sample of that at your Tasting Australia event so what are you planning? Well, we're actually planning almost as much as you would get, but in a way much more because we are not going to limit ourselves to one region of India because, as you know, Indian food is so regional yeah. and uh, we are going to sort of kill ourselves because we're <laughs> going to literally uh, take maybe seven or eight different regions and give a sample of the wedding feast from each. Let's talk about the function you're having here, which sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Very Bollywood, very bling, everybody getting dressed up, we hope. What are some of the dishes that people could expect as part of your um, feast? Well, they're definitely going to get lots of seafood because we are in South Australia. Uh, some will be cooked in the tandoor, some other styles would be a really traditional fish curry. So we've got um, the seafood happening, then of course goat, that's the most popular meat in India. So we're going to do the goat biryani, but we also will have uh, goat, traditional goat curries. Um, there's going to be a large part of it, it'll be lots of interesting, exciting vegetables and salads and homemade relishes. Uh, there'll be an array of desserts different breads there is such a variety of breads in all of india and they're so different so we'll have at least four different kinds of breads as well that's the food but traditionally in an indian wedding what would you be drinking traditionally it's very boring because people tend to have a lot of spirits before they start eating <laughs> uh, yes so india is a uh, whiskey <laughs> yeah gin tonic whiskey that kind of country but um, while when you sit down you really don't drink very much traditionally yeah. but we are in Adelaide so we forget all about that we have the best of our wines here so of course we will be having that and the glass here is lassi which is a rose scented one uh, as opposed to mango which normally everyone has but it's just a little hint that while we can have a little bit of this don't fill up on lassi because there's so much nice things so lassi is probably something that you don't actually uh, drink a lot of you just have a little, a little glass in the beginning and then keep the rest of your appetite for some fabulous food wow it sounds like it will be an amazing journey if you're welded to your butter chicken this would be a great event to come out and really try a plethora of different um, tastes and flavors yeah and even i wouldn't dare not to have butter chicken on the <laughs> menu so the butter chicken will be there because it is also a part of northern indian uh, wedding so there will be butter chicken definitely as well but there will be so much other stuff as well. so much more yes. if you'd like more information on all of the tasting australia events just head to their website to find full details of the program.